What's up guys, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur, showing you everything I'm doing to build an online business from scratch. And in this quick tutorial, I'm showing you how to trigger a opt-in form using Bloom from Elegant Themes. So first off, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to Corey Jenkins, who wrote this article over on uh, Aspen Groove Studios. And after going through it five or six times in a frustrating 45 minutes, I actually got it to work. So I thought I'd record this video for you. Um, number one, I'll have the description uh, in the description. <laughs> in the description, I'll have a link to this. But I just wanted to give you a quick video walkthrough of how to do this. So when you click the pop-up actually shows up because there's a lot of little intricate details here that I was just completely missing. So maybe it was just me, but I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. So I'm assuming that you've already set up the, you've already set up your form, you've chosen the pop-up version, uh, you've gone through here and said, you know, what text you want, what do you, what you want it to look like. So we're gonna be focusing on display settings. So for me, I'm clicking, I'm telling it to trigger on a click because I want the pop-up to show up when someone clicks it, right? Just like hopefully you're doing right now. Uh, so I'm telling them I want it to be on the home page. Um, you can get complicated with which pages you want this to go. But okay, so step number one here is when you click, when you select tr ugh, trigger on click, I'm trying to go fast here, you're going to want to use this, <clears throat> you're gonna to wanna to use this exact text. You can change it after it works, but uh, frankly, you just, you just need this to work, right? So that's probably why you're watching this video. So it's gonna be hashtag A, hashtag click dash trigger, okay? So keep that in mind. This is gonna, it's, it's gonna get really confusing fast. So A hashtag trigger dash click. All right, so that's what you need to set up uh, in Bloom. So now you're gonna go to your page, uh, depending on, I'm just gonna assume you're using Elegant Themes uh, Divi Builder. If you're not, um, you'll kind of be able to follow this. You'll just have to modify it for whichever builder or theme you've decided to use. All right, so we skipped a little bit because it was taking a while to load. So I'm gonna come over here to my first button and I'm going to click settings, of course. And then my settings are gonna pop up here. And you'll notice the first thing you'll notice here is it's hashtag click trigger. And there's no A, and this is for the button URL. There's no A and there is no dash, okay? So for the button URL, we're doing hashtag click trigger, all right? Uh, Remember over here, we did a hashtag click dash trigger. <laughs> this is where it just gets silly. All right, and then for CSS, we're doing click dash trigger, no A, no hashtag. All right, so we're gonna hit yay, okay. And I'll show you, I did the same, and you can do this for multiple buttons on the page, which is nice, so I'll show you, I did the same thing here. You know, hashtag click trigger with no dash or no A, and then click dash trigger, and that's in the CSS ID. So I'm sorry if I'm clicking fast, uh, you can always pause the video and see where I was going with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and exit the visual builder and I'll click on it one more time to show you guys that it is now working. Uh, link in the description below um, for, to the blog article that helped, but I just thought it would be great to have a video as well showing how this works. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully I could uh, just saved you a bunch of time figuring that out. Unfortunately on the support website, I guess this was a new feature. It's not actually on there, which is why I decided to go ahead and make this tutorial for you guys. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're working on building a online business or looking to generate income online, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cause over there I'm going from A to Z and everything in between on how to build a online business from scratch. And this is just one of the one small piece in putting together your online business is making sure your opt-in form pops up correctly. So lots of tutorials like this one and broader strategy videos as well to help you set up your sales funnel and make some income. So until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.